So the third gen is broken down once again. It's actually been broken down for probably like two months. I just haven't had time to fix it with the new job and the new shop and everything. I think it's a throw out bearing in the clutch. Uh, I'll show you what it's doing in a minute. We're gonna go meet my buddy at the shop. He has a high boy trailer there. We're gonna use his Duramax to come pick this thing up and bring it to the shop and uh, get into it and see if we can get her fixed. But on the bright side, the 12 valve is all safety and plated and everything. It's a mess right now. I hate this time of year when it's so, uh, you know, it's not quite freezing. It's not quite melting. So Chuck just gets dirty. See if she fires up. It's probably like minus five out right now. So it's not too cold. She might not start. <laughs> we'll do this a couple times just to get that grid heater working and see if it'll fire up. Oh, buddy. It actually went. bad for barely cranking over those batteries are tested good but they don't crank very hard so it might have some resistance on one of the wires oh it's always sweet when somebody's gotten here before you and opens the gate just the little things you know top of the morning to you oh what's up clean out my truck <laughs> what's that bronx what are you doing? You want to go outside? Come on. Oh, not even bad. You have to go forward a little bit. No, I don't. You don't think so? No. You're watching a master. Uh oh. You made it worse. <laughs> All right, let's go get the third gen. Okay, like I said, this thing hasn't ran in like months, so I'm gonna clean the window quick. I'm gonna try not to run it as much as possible because it sounds awful. Brian's gonna film and we'll see how it is. All right, so actually the truck is dead. So I'm gonna plug in the block heater just so that when we get a booster on here, hopefully it starts a little bit easier and uh, can't even open the hood right now because all this ice. So I'm gonna quickly chip that away and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it running. Okay, we got a charger and we're jumping it right now. We'll let it sit for a few minutes and then see if it'll start. Oh, a tight squeeze for you, pal. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, girl. Fifty percent. This thing's also at fifty percent. It's flashing seventy-five. Put on the jump charge once more. All right, let's try this again. It's 
gonna start making a burning smell. So we gotta get this thing on the trailer ASAP. has always got all the comments back, hey? Eh? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Let's get her strap. Yeah. All right. Take her nice and slow and get to the shop. <laughs> Screaming. Yeah. Okay, so not gonna lie, this truck has been sitting in here for like a month and a half just because I've been super busy with some other things. Um, but I'm finally here. I got my buddy uh, Pat here. He came and helped me uh, pull this transmission. So we got it out. So I'll show you. Remember, we thought it was a throat bearing and we were correct. Uh, here is the throw up bearing and it is totally seized. Like that's supposed to slide. It's completely seized. So just gonna pop this bearing out and I got a new one and I'll kind of put them on the bench and show you guys kind of the new versus the old. And uh, here's the clutch. So I was gonna do the rear main seal, but honestly, I don't really wanna pull this clutch out and it doesn't look that bad. Like it's not really leaking that much in here, so. It's it's most like most of this oil is coming from up on my oil pan. It's it, this truck It doesn't leak or nothing when it's sitting on the driveway or anything It just looked a bit wet down here. So I was thinking about doing the rear main, but I don't want to pull that clutch off just because I don't know if it ain't broke don't fix it. So here's the old one It's like cockeyed in there. It doesn't spin. This is the new one So I don't know why it failed they're, you can't grease them unfortunately, like they come pre-greased, so maybe it just wore out over time. Maybe it's my driving, I don't know, but there's a new one. Basically this just hooks in there. There you go. There's a new one. We got the tranny back up, now we're just dealing with these stupid uh, lift kit brackets again. Uh, they're kind of a pain in the ass, but it is going back together, so I'll hopefully have this thing running here in a couple hours and go make sure that everything works. Okay, everything's back together. There's a couple of little zip ties I got to put up and whatever, but I'm going to see if it'll start. Um, if you remember, well, Brian helped me there when we uh, had to boost this thing to get it to the shop, and I haven't really charged the batteries since, so the battery charger's been on there for like a little bit. We'll see if it'll start, but hopefully it'll start up, and hopefully it doesn't make an awful screeching sound. a good feeling when you uh, do something and it actually works so it feels good I just rolled it in second gear there and it wanted to go forward so and it's not screeching so I think the problem's fixed just gonna button up and then we'll take it outside and make sure it's good
Do you want to go for a rip? Yeah, I'm going to go for a rip. I'm pretty sure there's still winter, or sorry, summer diesel in here. So we only got a quarter tank of fuel. We're going to go fill up. Maybe I should put in four wheel drive because these tires are bald. And uh, I also forgot it still has the, I haven't updated the tune since I put the bigger injectors in. So this thing smokes a lot. So I'll have to fix that soon. So I apologize that this video took so long. You can expect me to kind of try to be more uh, current and I'll try to upkeep the videos a little bit better here. Um, I had to go through some stuff here in the last few days. The biggest one being um, Bronx, my dog, who's been in a lot of these videos. Uh, he got diagnosed with cancer and uh, he wasn't eating and you know we tried a few things and ultimately I had to put him down. So that was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. So uh, yeah, I was kind of dealing with that and some other personal stuff. And then, you know, the new job on top of it. I also got COVID, so I was sick for a while. Um, so yeah, I apologize that I wasn't, uh, you know, there, but uh, I got some good stuff coming soon here. So uh, I'll try to keep the videos rolling for you guys. I appreciate all you guys asking me like, hey, when's the next video, blah, blah, blah. Like we miss you. And, and that just fires me up. It keeps me going. So I. I thank you guys. I love you all. Everyone who watches my dumb ass, it just makes me laugh that you guys even pay attention to what I do. So, um, but yeah, this uh, third gen seems to be good to go again. So that's awesome. I can finally put these uh, winter tires on so we can test these Venom Ice Hunters out. Um, a 37 inch ice tire. So that should be super cool. Um, yeah, so stay tuned guys. Check out the Instagram at Dark Iron Diesel, TikTok at Dark Iron Diesel. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. What are you doing, you goofy guy? Being goofy?